Speaking of awards, a musical that has won numerous awards, Cabaret is being presented by the Beaumont Community Players. They are busy rehearsing right now, and Shelly Vitanza is standing by. Shelly, this opens Friday, right? Yes, it opens tomorrow, and it's a really unique performance because the theater that we're in, it's at the Betty Greenberg Center for the Performing Arts, is uh, the Black Box Theater, but they've allowed cabaret seating. I mean, not only is the theater very, very versatile, but uh, cabaret is coming on the heels of Annie, which was a family-friendly production with young people in it, and then after cabaret, we're going to have a soldier's play, a drama, so we've got this wonderful musical in the the middle of these productions and it just goes to show we have so much great talent here in Southeast Texas and I've gotten Peyton Jones who is the director of Cabaret and um, you've directed quite a few productions uh, tell us what's unique about this one well uh, there are several things that are unique especially this is my first time to work with a small cast so that has been a lot of fun I usually have the cast of thousands and a lot of kids in my production which I absolutely love but this one is smaller and uh, we've had a lot of fun with it it's it's been a challenge but it's 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 gonna pay off well tell me about the uh, the seating I love this so people can actually come and sit in the in the yes uh, I mean there are they in the production well they are not in the production per se but they are so close close to it that it's, it has that cabaret feel so it'll give you the total theater experience so it'll be more like an experience and not just um, an observer so you're going to be you know kind of in in the midst of in the, the Kit Kat club you're in the Kit Kat club okay yes. which is mainly the background for this production yes yes they they move in and out of the Kit Kat club and it, it sort of serves as a metaphor for what's going on outside of the cabaret okay now this was a movie cabaret was a movie that starred Liza Minnelli it was one of yes. the top 100 movies of all time is a little bit intimidating directing a production that uh, has so much uh, acclaim. N no, oddly, no. I just, you know what? I didn't think about it, and I think that was the best thing to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just, I tend to do that. I just tend to go for it, and then think about it later, and think, wow, how did, how did we do that? But uh, I think people will be pleased. I think a lot of people expect the movie, and and the the play is different. Uh, they wanted Liza Minnelli to play that that part, the character of Sally Bowles, so they had to make her an American. So they had to alter the original script just a little, um, but I think people will see uh, that there are several similarities and they'll definitely recognize some of those songs that she made famous in the movie. Can we see some of it now? Absolutely. All right. So you see Herr Bradshaw, all comforts, and with breakfast only 100 marks. It's very nice for a lunch nighter, but you don't have anything cheaper? For a friend of Herr Ludwig? I have very little money. But you will give English lessons, and you will have many pupils. And they will pay you, and then you will pay me, yeah? Fifty marks. That's my absolute limit. If you have anything else, no matter how small, how far from the bathroom... Oh, but for a professor, this is more suitable. I'm not a professor. Think of me as a starving author. What do you have for a starving author? An author. A poet. Oh, you have the look. A novelist. A novelist, and you will be most famous. It will be like years ago when in all of my rooms, persons of real quality, yeah. This is your room, and here, this is for you to write. And look, come. come. Your window. Ah, you can see the whole of the Nolendorf plots. And uh, there. That little house, the U-Bahn station, what you call the metro, yeah? <laughs> in ten minutes, you're anywhere in Berlin. Uh, subway. Such a desirable window for a novelist. I can still only afford 50 marks. This room is worth 100, more than 100. 50. <laughs> See it. Okay, you can get the tickets that you want for Cabaret starting this weekend and running through next weekend. There's a matinee performance on the 25th, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun here at the Betty Greenberg Center for the Performing Arts. This is the Beaumont Community Players production of Cabaret. It definitely looks like a lot of fun. Do you have your tickets? You know, I don't have my tickets yet, but I'm planning on coming to that matinee on the 25th. I was waiting for a matinee, and oh, that's yes. when I plan to come. Yeah, Matinees yeah, are always you great. You should come, Chrissy. It's going to be a lot of fun. It sure looks like it. Well, thank you so much, Shelly.